everything that's about to happen was in the middle of a pandemic. If you can possibly <laughs> imagine what that, uh, what that must have felt like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That was great. I mean, it was sad, but it was great. Yeah. Can't say yeah. that someone was found and uh, then their head was found a week later and have no further details. Oh, no, it was found up the crick. Is that better? They found it up a crick. I had a horse. What? But once you realize it. Ryan, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Joyce, did you say Christ. you had a horse? I had a horse named Rose growing up. So did you ever like feed it sugar cubes or apples or? or... I did, I did. Sometimes <laughs> I put honey on the apple. What? I put, uh, I lick the sugar cube <laughs> and then I put it on the apple and then she would eat both. The hair is so long and luscious and she would like put her head on my head, her forehead on my forehead. I know you said you don't have it anymore, but nobody like uh, cut its head off and put it in a Hollywood producer's bed? Absolutely not. I think okay. she just got new owners. Just checking. It definitely isn't the plot of a movie. No. Not <laughs> I want to tell you that I drew a little bit of fan art during the performance. The horse who passed away and his wife, oh, and I don't know if oh. you can see, I didn't know how to draw a girl horse, so I just gave her a, a one boob. Oh, sure. Yeah, I think most horses have one boob. That's yeah. beautiful, Garrett. Oh, well, now you're That's right. extra stuff. I'd already put the pen back on my cap. Yeah, sorry, dude. <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? <laughs> a rotten jelly bean for the beef boy. No, this one, this is going to be cut out of the episode, so I think not, no. sir. It's no, not. it's gonna be cut out. No, it'll be here. Ryan Bergara, are you ready? Just another day in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Antoine, the mighty murderer, shot and killed the beast, as well as its massive mate and their cute widow cub. After more than a year of living in fear, Oh, look at the way you did that. A fun little, just uh, having a little fun with incest there, huh? You know, you know. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't have, everyone has to have fun with incest, yeah. you know what I mean? Would you guys poison your whole family? Yeah, let me think about that, no. No. Would you? Do you have a family? Or d did you have a family? D did you have a family? Papa, I want a jelly bean. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Repressed memory. Oh God. That's even worse than I thought. I should tell you, I really do love history. Pyramids and uh, swords and castles and kings. Oh yeah, those are all history things. You get a history point for that. <laughs> Thanks. Here's another question for a history point. Who built the pyramids? That's uh, Apocalypse. <clears throat> from X-Men? Oh, from X-Men. <laughs> yes. You get a history point from me for that. How about oh, that? Oh, really? We're getting fun with them today. <laughs> Ryan, you get a history point for giving Garrett a history point. I don't want your point. <laughs> uh, too bad you got one. I mean, God willing and the creek don't rise. What? what? <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, it's old folksy saying. <laughs> Like, yeah, I sure hope that doesn't happen. God will, and in the creek don't rise. I hope he falls into a volcano, frankly. You got any more conversation stoppers in there, Professor, in that satchel of yours? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you think of like how often people got away with crimes back then, because they could just kill someone and be like, a beast! Yeah. The beast has done it. A beast uh, pooped in the kitchen. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Professor, are you not potty trained? Holy moly! Oh no! <laughs> A whole 15 foot wave of molasses! Holy fuck! <laughs> Oh no. Wait, you mean to tell me that she had 70,000 people under her command and she still was like, I'm gonna bang my son. <laughs> Weeks later, a 16 year old boy was, say it with me, Eviscerated while working in the fields! Yeah, beat me up, I don't give a shit. We're not gonna tell you where this stool is, go fuck yourself. Fuck yeah. Tough. Metal. A giant wave of molasses! But do you think I could boogie board that shit? <laughs> Ryan, of course you could if you believed in yourself. I, that's what I thought. Did anyone die in this? Can we make jokes about this? People died, right? Is this, does this suck? Wait, what happened? Well, we'll get to that later. But for now, yes, feel free to make jokes. It's okay. Oh, looks like we got some sea dogs Don't. out there! <laughs> ooh, <laughs> I got a ooh, couple ooh, sea dogs. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Uh, we love it's one of our best bits on this show. It hasn't we'll worked it. since the first time you've said it. <laughs> it's tough to teach when you're hungover. My bet. Are you hungover <sighs> right now? That would explain a lot, actually. I'm fine. Okay. Three, two, one. Ooh. Yeah, that felt good. I just want to say, <laughs> Ryan, you watch these musical performances like a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really are just like. It's, uh... It's not an enjoyable experience <laughs> for me. I'm gonna live forever! Oh, God, please help me! 
you tabletop it over a shepherd. Yeah. As one of the world's leading cryptozoologists, that's a hard word to say, I don't think I nailed it, but I'm not gonna do it again. I would throw the stick to try to befriend it because I feel like most cryptids are nice. That's a better idea. Ryan, what's that tattoo a... that you have on your inner thigh? Is it, okay, now, it say, now... I am mega celebo Ryan Bergara, and it kind of goes across the center, so you gotta really sp Now that we've started things off on a nasty note, I'll have you know, Professor, I'm gonna take a big piss in this cup after this thing is done. Uh, oh my goodness. All right. Oh my god. So that's what being a celebrity's like, huh? Uh, points, okay. So, Governor <laughs> Hobson. He's just flabbergasted because that's three questions in a row that we've all whiffed. I know, that's okay. He's, wow. he's sweating now. Guys, consider Help this. Me, professor. I don't consider this. Well, you I know what? I just want to learn, Professor. I actually, you just teach me? Shut up! Please. Shut up! Please. I don't understand what's going teach on. Me. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're just creating this whole alternate reality in your brain just to make history feel go down a little bit smoother. Is that what you're telling us? I've been doing it for three decades, brother. I respect the grind. <laughs> Thanks. Most cats I don't like, but I gotta say that is one beautiful animal. Isn't he perfect? He's gorgeous. You look like a movie villain now, Sarah. <laughs> I know. I mean, between him and our special guests, these are two of the most attractive beings we've ever had on this show. Oh, stop. This is strange. Stop. <laughs> Do you two know each other? A, the government demanded Ching Shi return her transshipped goods, including a vibrating crate stamped Jewel of the Whole Crew's private loot. Keep all genies away until at least 2535 CE. Oh, curious. B, the government demanded Ching Shi give up all her boats. Or C, the government demanded her son husband Chang Pao's head. The vibrating box that was the jewel. <laughs> That huh? the genie is not allowed to have. I don't know anything about that. It just—it seems really specific. I, I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about that. Okay. Hello, Junior. How was school today? Well, I mean, you know, it's 1919. School sucks. I wish I had a fun, critically acclaimed way to learn about history, but that's probably a hundred years up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Time to check in on those drawings. You each get as many jelly beans as I poop out in fear. Sarah, let's take a look at yours. Oh! <laughs> you that in such a little time. I feel like I have the least cool of the Z names. Like, why couldn't I be Ziri Obkornfeld? That's way dope. Oh, I was gonna say Zorn. <laughs> yeah. Zorn. Looks like we got some sea dogs out there. Or, 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 or. You know, like seal, sea dogs, that's a seal. Is this episode gonna make it? Are we oh. gonna make it? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. A, that she wasn't Debrun Villiers at all, but instead a genie. A puppet had apparently glued a wig to his head in the hopes of having the people of France put a stop to his chasing the puppet through time, but it doesn't work like that since the genie would just disappear at the moment of execution anyway. <laughs> Picture this, it's lunchtime, you're gonna make a ham sandwich, and you say, DJ, it's lunchtime, and then the DJ goes, pew, 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 and then it just goes off. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, are you I, writing anything or are you just... I have no idea. Are you reading Wikipedia? No. Ryan, if you're reading Wikipedia, I'll scream. You will scream. Is this the first step of the new season? No. Wow. Oh, sorry, Kate. <laughs> sorry we've Man. only invited you here four times! Oh yeah, I have been here four times. What y'all think about boats? Yo-ho-ho -ho or no, no, no? You know I love a yo-ho-ho, -ho, so... Go, go, go. I actually blacked out. I don't. I actually did not hear the question at all because it was so stupidly worded. Unbelievable. We're gonna start out like this, huh? <laughs> oh lord, you boys. I want it to be Footloose. Cause then we could have Kevin Bacon graphics. Oh, Bacon, that sounds fucking delicious. Okay. B, the mayor of Boston refused to send immediate aid, instead releasing a statement saying, quote, we love the molasses, it's very special. Might catch readers' attention, and so he started to sensationalize just a bit. Hope you get some jelly beans, Ryan. You deserve a couple. <laughs> it ain't gonna matter how many I have, I'll tell you. It's a complex it's algorithm. Not a well-insulated curtain. No, it is not. Exact. A, po a, a point for Ryan. A point for Ryan. No well, one sits on the stool. Did you see how much it hurt him to give me that point? He couldn't even get through the yeah, sentence. Yeah, a point for... A point for... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a point for... <laughs> After securing the loyalty of her lieutenants and the color-coded fleets, she sought someone to lead the most powerful of the squadrons, the Red Fleet, which Chang Yi had previously controlled before being condemned to rot in the sulfuric pits of eternal damnation. So what's your deal here? <laughs> <laughs>
I was supposed to say. Oh, sent shivers up my little blue spine. Your spine is blue as well, Professor? Oh, I'm all blue, baby. Okay, weird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my mother-in-law, you know what I'm saying? Are you married? No, I, I'm not. I just wanted to make a mother-in-law joke. For C, she banned women from having sex with anyone refusing to join the army. <laughs> Kate, are you scandalized? I am, like, I have to pick it. Yeah, I love that. Go stare at a cow, dipshit. Uh, now, to begin, how many mistresses are you currently keeping? I plead the fifth. Excuse me? How many mistresses are you keeping, professor? You know, I'm a freak back here. <laughs> yeah, you guys get pretty wet and wild. I got yeah, so many, oh, you know, offers as a puppet. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. I hate every second of everything that's <laughs> happening right now. And Ryan, let's take a look at yours. It's a middle finger. You're telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Whoa! <laughs> okay, well that was, uh, it was messed up, man. Uh, I think that's the first official death we've had on this stage, uh, so. Yeah. That's something, I guess. I know you're a real Disney simp, Ryan, but there's more to pirates than the naughty oh. knaves hanging around Tortuga. Tortuga! 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 <laughs> You, you called me a Disney simp. I, I resent yeah, that. I did. Do you guys need couples counseling? You know, we could schedule some time later. No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Oh I just, I just wanted to let him know he's warned. B. They told that sort of genie who'd been hanging about that if he cleaned up the mess, they'd hand over the bespectacled puppet they found trapped in the molasses. And no, oh, that damnable genie says, "You've got a deal," and snaps his spindly fingers, and poof, the molasses is gone. And the wicked Cretans of Boston deliver unto the monster his sticky prize. Finally, this is the dreadful beast. Do you know the trouble you've caused me? The world isn't ready for the sinning abominations your reckless little dance through time has created. Now, time to handle the most abominable sinning puppet of them all. As the genie's trembling hands move toward our beloved hero, the rakish blue rogue smirks and whispers, Let's crack in. As if taught by Houdini himself, the puppet unbinds himself in an instant and majestically dives for his satchel, reaches inside, and he suddenly disappears in a brilliant flash of light as the wretched goddamn loser genie lets out a time-shaking wail! Or C, rats! <laughs> All righty. I mean, you could probably, you know, once he signs the papers, probably give him a little send off, you know? Oh. <laughs> a little something to remember me by. Conk, conk, you know? Huh? Are they like just going door to door, putting their ear against it, hearing whether or not there's some sex going on? Yeah. I want to know what you were honking. God knows. That's just what it sounds like when my people do, do that sort of thing. It sounds like a clown horn. That's... You just honk the whole time. A little bike horn. A little bike horn. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. I hate where we've gone. I only know two beasts Beauty and the Beast and Beast from X Men. Sure. He's my uh, uncle. Beast from X Men? From X -Men? Yeah. Big guy. What about Cookie Monster? Uh, he's a second cousin. We got some pretty freaky family reunions, man. Some, just a basket of blueberries. Blue Man Group. Yeah, they're all there. <laughs> Think about the Blue Man Group. We're technically the same species. They just shave from head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get a point. He just didn't die. Wait a second. Yeah. This isn't a goddamn negotiation. <laughs> no, no, no. But he asked very nicely, and he's not wearing a stupid orange hat, so I'm giving him a point. <laughs> can, I, can I have a point? No. How much did she outnumber his fleet? Probably by a fair amount. <laughs> you don't know what the vowel is? Hang on. Let me check with our mathematicians. You got a good amount. <laughs> I, I don't know. He probably had a couple boats. About a fair amount? <laughs> it's a, it's a, about a fair amount. Can you guys do a quick improvised scene of two lovers meeting in front of the tank? And I want you to do your best Boston slash non-Boston accents. Oh, I never ever thought you'd meet me in front of this here tank of molasses, Ryan. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> no? Ryan, get back in it. I, I never thought I would see you out here either. Oh, Ryan, you've been drinking too much of that molasses. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I love me. I love me. The molasses is wicked. It's wicked good. And you, you looking sweeter than pie tonight, too. Oh! <laughs> it's such Help. a bad Boston accent. Get back in it, Ryan! I'm sorry! Ryan, I've always wanted to ask you this, but where are you from? You talk kind of funny. <laughs> funny that you say that because the last person that said that ended up in the hospital, so, uh... uh, uh. Ryan, are you threatening me in front of this old big tank of molasses? <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah, I'll do it too. It's fun. Wait, are you scatting now? There. I don't know. Oh, we'll just, well, just a remind. No, oh, wait, wait, just a oh, remind. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, God damn, damn it, not again. You fucking Why? monster. You did it again. I can, I can, can you please? I tried. Now, you, now this time it's on you. And Sarah? I put 63 and I put it in a big heart. Oh. What, because you loved that they were killed? <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, I just like hearts. I mean, you know. I, I thought for a second you were going to be like, you know, I am. Uh, I'm a serial killer, and uh, <laughs> when people get killed, <laughs> I'm gonna put them in the cup, and then I'm gonna shoot them like I'm at a freaking frat party, brother. Uh -oh. oh no! No! Oh no! You're gonna go All through right, some old. changes tonight. Just a heads up. I'm ready. You're gonna be a strange puppet man soon. It'll wear off eventually. Um, I put Captain Queef. <laughs> Stinky. Captain Queef is on the seven seas. I smell her downwind. <laughs> <laughs> the Amir eventually even had a secret door installed so Ziriab could enter his room without anyone knowing. Oh, they're, they're, so, they're, they're fucking. Fu they're fucking. They're, let's. They could just be really good friends that wanted private time. Maybe they were uh, showing each other their baseball card collection or something like that. Oh, well, they were showing each other some ball collection. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Mm, not your best work. I know, going after. Popcorn might uh, get a little expensive after a while. Why is that? It tends to uh, cost a pretty penny. I've heard uh, sometimes they paid as much as a buccaneer. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up this dead horse. See you next season, everybody. Woo!